A vigil was held yesterday for a 15-year-old boy who was shot and killed Sunday at the marketplace in Southwest Bakersfield. The suspect, who's also 15, is now in custody. 17's Jenny Ha attended the vigil last night and has this story. How great is our God. Say with me, how great is our God. Sounds of sorrow and anger at losing a loved one filled the air Tuesday night. Let the tears rain, let the pain rain, let the hurt rain, Father God, but let it not be in vain, Father God. Let the death of this young man not be in vain. An only child, grandson, baby cousin, teammate, classmate, and friend. That's who 15-year-old Prince Michael Banner was to his beloved community. I am Prince Michael's grandmother. Keep our family in your prayers. Let's have a good time, though, as far as celebrating for... My little cousin's life, I know he would just be happy that we're here and we're talking for him. Banner's heartbroken parents, comforted by a thick circle of support, orange candlelight, and messages of LLP, long live Prince. For what they have to go through, should no parent have to go through. We're going to make it through, okay? And I love you, Q. I love you so much. Those who attended had nothing but fond memories to share about young Prince Michael Banner. Prince was a quiet person, very sweet, very respectful young man. So for a young baby to lose his life, it, I think it's um, every mother's nightmare. Many say Banner's sudden death is yet another reminder of a harsh reality, youth gun violence. In the last 30-something years that I've been doing this, I've buried, you know, hundreds of kids. Manuel Carrizales works to curb gun violence among youth. It's influence. It's who's speaking into your life. A sentiment echoed by the crowd. We as adults need to stand up and stand in front of our children. Let's just lead by example. Myself, I'm coaching, I'm teaching. I went and got my degree from Cal State. I'm trying to do more and get my master's. So many people feel like we don't need any kind of gun reform. And, and that's really unfortunate to me, particularly being a, a parent of a murdered child. Wesley Davis lost his son, Wendell Davis, then 16 years old, to gun violence as well. It's something you never heal from. Lives that have really been sacrificed unwillingly, but it's still yet a sacrifice. I'm angry. I'm devastated. Um, I'm pissed off. A 15-year-old boy should not be walking around here with a gun capable of killing another 15-year-old child. The warm tears, a reflection of family and friends missing a piece of their heart taken too soon. Jenny Hutt, 17 News.